Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, thanks for checking me out. Um, so my name is Ian Carter and this is Travel with Carter. So uh, I am working on traveling to every single country on earth. This is uh, episode number one, first first ever show, but this is country number 28. So uh, just recently I decided this is something I want to do. I have traveled a little bit, but uh, still got a ways to go. Uh, another 169 countries to be exact so please uh, watch and, and uh, hopefully you enjoy the content and uh, I'm going to try to tell some good stories and uh, make, make some good uh, episodes for you uh, so I'll do one with every country that I visit moving forward um, so please enjoy all right here we are in beautiful Copacabana Beach this is in Rio de Janeiro Brazil um, one of the most famous beaches in the world and uh, it's Sunday afternoon absolutely beautiful day nice and packed um, and it's my first time here so I just got here uh, a couple hours ago and taking it all in the sights are amazing um, people are great I've been chatting with some locals and yeah just uh, pretty well everybody and anybody is here enjoying their Sunday um, soccer tennis lots of food stands and yeah the waves are great probably my favorite thing about this beach in Copacabana is the fact that it's open to the public so there's no private sections everything is uh, uh, available for the people paying 300 bucks a night at the Hilton or for the locals making 300 bucks every two months. Uh, so that, that's amazing. They got, uh, again, yeah, just soccer everywhere for football. They got these uh, uh, free little uh, workout gyms here with the uh, pull up bars, and dips, and beautiful sidewalk, and yeah, just music everywhere. This is. Uh, Sunday afternoon, Copacabana Beach. So this is uh, where dreams are made and so happy to be here and happy to be experiencing it. They got this gorgeous hotel here, Copacabana Palace. Uh, I'm staying about three blocks behind that. So about an eight minute walk to the beach and um, about 45 bucks a night Canadian. So uh, people wonder how do I afford it? That's how I afford it. Uh, look at the view here. This is Post 09. Uh, I got the Uruguayan section here. Beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna get a drink. Yeah, this is the world famous Capraheña being made. So this cachaza is like a sugarcane rum or, or like a rum type liquor, sugarcane liquor. And then they got these beautiful sandwiches over here. I'm getting a steak sandwich. There's my man Anthony Bourdain and the owner a few years back. And again, the view is just incredible here. Just how can you beat this on a Sunday? Anthony Bourdain was here, and he was saying, "You want this," and. I will quote him exactly and uh, agree with this quote of you want this. Sometimes people recommend these tourist things and they're not great. This is one of those ones. Definitely do it. After a couple drinks, you want one of these sandwiches. Beautiful toasted bun, roast beef, a little bit of uh, salsa on there. A um, little bit spicy, not too bad. And just delicious. And absolutely gorgeous uh, dining room. Okay, these are just some locals playing this kind of uh, football volleyball. I've been watching them for 10 minutes. They're very impressive. Uh, gonna go paragliding running off uh, one of the cliffs you can't see it here in this shot but uh, just over to the right about the same height as that mountain there and then we're gonna land on the beach uh, you can see one uh, one person going right now 
we're just getting set up and hopefully should be up there and taking off in half hour. Hey, we are at the top of this mountain and there goes somebody. Uh, it's gonna be us in 15 minutes. <laughs> Doing a little paragliding over Rio. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, are you ready for it? Uh, I'm ready as I'll ever be. Nice. That looked a little scary. That did. <laughs> it sounded scary. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also about as ready as I'll ever be. I got my yes shirt on. I gotta say yes and just do it. <laughs> Heading up to Christ the Redeemer in uh, Rio. It's uh, right in the jungle, it's super steep hill. It's uh, basically straight. Okay, we are at the world famous Christ the Redeemer statue in Rio. There's Neil. And the view is just absolutely incredible. Side of the Christ the Redeemer statue, and there is a little chapel in there. Uh, it's tiny, it only fits about 15 people or so. Yeah, just the one, of, arguably one of the prettiest chapels in the in the world. Um, so the the view is just spectacular. You can see the uh, soccer stadium down there. The acai is found everywhere. It's a uh, super fruit. It's a uh, uh, very flavorful, it's packed full of vitamins. So we had a uh, acai guacamole, uh, some ceviche, and then uh, we, we ordered a acai uh, shake as well, just to really round it out. Uh, octopus, which is absolutely amazing. Got some uh, fish there, tropical fish, and carioca rice, which uh, has some nice prawns on it. Really nice uh, dinner here in beautiful Rio. Cheers. So this restaurant specialized in northeastern Brazilian cuisine, and yeah, we had a really nice meal of um, uh, seafood or fish stew. Uh, really nice chunks of uh, fish in there, beautifully spiced, uh, served over rice. Uh, they actually served it for for us as he's doing here, taking the bones out and uh, putting it on the plate nicely, uh, which was a really nice touch. Uh, they're they're dressed in authentic uh, garb from uh, yesteryear, and yeah, the steak was uh, delicious as well. And then we had some rice and uh, rice and beans, so a really nice meal and uh, a lot of fun and very authentic uh, for northeastern uh, Brazil things to do while traveling is to see the local graffiti. Brazil is no different. Uh, they were absolutely incredible all throughout Rio. Uh, Manaus uh, had a ton of it as well and I was only in and out of uh, Sao Paulo so I'll have to go back and check it out there. But with the World Cup and the Olympics uh, a few years back the, the government promoted uh, local artists to get involved, um, tell the stories of uh, um, indigenous uh, uh, Brazilians uh, tell the stories of 
uh, new Brazilians and uh, to share, share that to the world. So I believe they did a wonderful job um, with the storytelling and it's just, it's everywhere. It's bright, it's vibrant and uh, really something you want to see. Okay, we got settled in in the lodge here. This is the view. They got a nice dock there behind me, and beautiful right on this uh, uh, tributary to the Amazon. So the Amazon's about a ten-minute boat ride from here. Uh, but yeah, just gorgeous. It's uh, rainy season now, so the water's uh, quite high. It rains every night. It's about a hundred percent humidity today. Uh, mid 30s Celsius. It's it's hot as heck, but uh, gorgeous. So uh, having a lot of fun. We had uh, good lunch. Um, nice nice lunch there. That's the uh, the dining room. Uh, beautiful uh, property here. Nice. Uh, everything's naturally made with local local woods and and yeah, it's literally in the middle of nowhere. So um, they made many hidden turns that you'd never be able to find and. Uh, we're gonna go swimming tonight, uh, not swimming, sorry, uh, fishing and uh, gator hunting or caiman hunting and bird spotting and uh, see if we see some more dolphins and monkeys and anything else in the jungle. So, looking forward to it. So, this is a motorized canoe that we're on, uh, it seats about six people semi comfortably. and. A lot of times we would just uh, go without the motor on, so we, a couple of us would just paddle, take turns paddling, and <clears throat> uh, just to, so that we could hear the nature. And yeah, it was just incredibly peaceful, um, eerily quiet at times. Uh, we didn't see any other groups the whole time we were there, so uh, I, I, was still, I still can't believe that um, a couple weeks later. So yeah, we had it all to ourselves. Uh, we did see a bunch of uh, dolphins. I was I was not able to get good video of them. Uh, they would just jump up for a second and then uh, swim away. Uh, so unfortunately, I didn't get good uh, video. But uh, please Google pink dolphins of the Amazon, and uh, they are beautiful. Uh, they're freshwater dolphins, and we did get to see a fair bit. Uh, lots of birds in the trees, uh, a bunch of sloths as well, and some monkeys. It was, uh, yeah, just a uh, sensory overload from a nature standpoint. The oh. Okay. <laughs> Do it for the gram. Just, okay. just hold it and... Uh... No, 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 just put your hand and yeah. wait, yeah. wait for half a Django time. Jango Wee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Natural <laughs> repellent. You them all. <laughs> Django Wee. <-ian. laughs> <laughs> Next. It's amazing. No, it's not yeah. <laughs> Hear the rain and see it coming down. Soaked head to toe and loving every minute of it. And even our like groomed walked on almost every day path. It's like ice. It's uh, very slippery with the wet leaves. So pretty well everything can hurt you here one way or another. It's amazing. Wow. And look at this. Wow. It's beautiful. Okay, so we're piranha fishing these wooden poles and not having any luck so far, but this is the technique I'll show you. We'll catch one on camera. Get them a little excited and then they come and they bite. Let's see if I can catch one one-handed. <gasps> oh, Jesus! <laughs> All right, you got one. You lost it. You had it. You lost it. <laughs> nice. They're biting. They're biting. There we go. I got one. Oh, it was bleeding for the night. Got a hammock set up. Bug nets on them. Roasted chicken on the barbecue. 
jungle style. The jungle bowling. Jungle. Oh, yo, yo, you have Jungle Amanda cutting jungle. <laughs> jungle <Caprahin>. lives. <laughs> jungle lives for jungle caprahenia. Yeah. In the jungle. Believe it or not. So these guys were absolutely wild. We were at night, pitch black, with just the lights of the boat and uh, headlamps. And the callies came in, dive in and grab them with their bare hand and then uh, show it to us, everybody. So I was, I was blown away. Happy nobody got hurt, but it was uh, crazy. And then, of course, we needed Caprahenia to wash it all down after. So after our night in the jungle, I was uh, the first one up. I got up at about uh, 4.30 in the morning. Uh, the sun started coming up right around uh, 5. It was beautiful, nice and peaceful. Birds were chirping. Uh, the monkeys were quite active in the trees around us. Um, it just kept the fire going and uh, just enjoyed a little bit of uh, uh, alone time. Uh, it, was a, it was a group uh, setting, so I, I enjoyed the time for myself. Then we got this uh, coffee going, best cup of coffee I had in uh, Brazil. Uh, it was beautiful. Here we are on uh, where the two rivers meet. So you can see the color change. Uh, again, I don't have the greatest video of it, but uh, it is a pretty distinct uh, black color. Uh, the Rio Negro River and then the Amazon River is the uh, more tea colored or, or, or light brown. So the speed of the waters, the temperature, and the uh, sediments is what causes them not to mix. So it's kind of cool. It's uh, uh, pretty profound, and it's a straight line, essentially. This was uh, leaving uh, the jungle. We had a wild uh, driver. The guy did a great job. It was uh, raining all day on a muddy road, and we were fishtailing left and right. We ended up getting stuck uh, a couple times, and we had to get out and push. And uh, everybody in uh, my crew was a good uh, sport about it. We, we laughed, and it was, it was pretty wild. Last travel tip from me. This is at the Plaza Premium Lounge at the Rio Airport. It costs 150 uh, Brazilian Heia, or um, 35 roughly Canadian to get in. I just came straight from the jungle, hadn't uh, on a red-eye flight, hadn't showered, uh, was dirty. Um, so yeah, you get a beautiful uh, uh, bathroom to yourself. Um, for that 35 bucks, you can stay for uh, three hours, or it's a little bit more if you want to stay for six hours. But three hours was more than enough. Able to have a shower, get cleaned up, have a good shave. Um, they also have uh, yeah, pretty decent food. Uh, alcohol is included in that price if you haven't done the lounge thing before. Hey again, all. I'm hoping you loved what you saw, um, or at least liked. Please uh, show your love by uh, hitting uh, like and subscribe down below, please. Uh, I got a lot more content coming. I am heading to South Africa in two days, and I'm going to be doing three more episodes down there. And as I, as I hit uh, South Africa, Lesotho, and Eswatini, uh, two small nations that are landlocked within South Africa. So I can't wait to share those stories with you and I hope uh, you're going to come check them out as well. So thanks again for traveling with Carter and we'll see you really soon. Bye for now.